What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profile. So I'm focusing on Anthony Florentino of the uh, U18 Selects and uh, Future Providence College uh, Friar will be next year. He's projected to go somewhere between the third and fifth rounds of the upcoming 2013 NHL entry draft. A West Roxbury, Massachusetts native, a uh, good all-around defenseman that had 58, that had 50 points in 58 games with the Selects, 20 goals. You know, got a good shot, can play physical. Can skate really well. You know, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do against hockey East competition. He's listed at six one. Um, you know, maybe put on a few more pounds of muscle. But like I said, Providence was a you know surprise team having one of the best goalies um, in the country in Gillies. You know, it was a big reason for that. But I'm curious to see with it what he does to that Providence blue line. And uh, you know, does it get better? And you know, does Providence take steps forward? Do does Jankowski take steps forward? steps forward. Does Gillies continue on the solid track record? Because with goalies, you know, they could go anyway. Um, you know, it's really not a steady route, but, you know, see what happens. And I'm really looking forward uh, to watching him play at the highest level. You know, I played with him in the past. Um, in the summer league, really good kid, really talented player. But, um, you know, I think he's going to be a good value pick. He's not the guy that's going to need some time to develop in college hockey. But, you know, they've done a great job in Providence the last couple of years. And, like I said, their team has turned some heads recently, and I think he'll be, um, you know, the latest guy to do so. You know, They've been they've been down for a while, Providence, but it's good to see them back on the upswing. And uh, you know, I think with his physicality and his tenacity, coupled with his, with his offensive prowess, he could realistically be a ho all hockey East, his, you know, his junior senior year. And I think that, you know that's a great thing, you know, to for him, you know, for his resume and for, for Providence, you know, going forward and recruiting. But uh, you know, I like his game. Just, there's really no flaws in his game. Um, you know, it excels in all facets. You know, I think one knock on him was the competition level wasn't that high at the U18 midget level, as opposed to kids that were playing major juniors, you know, playing in Europe, playing with the development team, stuff like that. But, you know, I, th I think he'll come around. He'll get the opportunity to go to the development team, to go to the USHL, and, you know, turn it down to stay at Sel Kent, which, I mean, you know, that says a lot about his character, and, you know, it's off the ice intangibles, and, you know, wore the C with the Selexus here. So, you know, there's leadership, there's intangibles, there's work ethic, there's all that, and then there's tangible production, and, um, you know, getting it done on the ice, and he, he does everything, so I'm really looking forward to uh, to watch him take the next step forward. I'm very excited that I'll be um, there to watch him get drafted on June 30th. It should be a pretty cool um, experience, and this is a, a, he's probably got the highest upside of any New England player. Um, Sanford looks pretty good, but I, I like what he brings to the table, and this isn't, you know, a high high-end New England draft by any means. You know, Charlie Coyle ain't walking through that door. Jeremy Roenick ain't walking through that door. But I think there's some pretty good quality local players. I mean, Adam Rene, obviously, but, you know, he's been he was in L.A. at one point. You know, he's playing midget hockey in Los Angeles. He really kind of lose the New England vibe on you, but I digress. But, you know, like I said, I think he has one of the highest upsides of any, you know, born and bred and stayed in New England player in this draft. So we'll see how we uh, see how he does. Anyway, that's like this episode of the Power Play with CJ and Anthony Florentino, 2013 draft eligible defenseman. Stay tuned for more episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.